Hi everybody and welcome to this episode of Beth's Best. Today we are at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. We are staying in a room with one king bed and a pull-out couch. Let's check it out. Your home for Disney room tours, guides, and reviews. Hit subscribe and the bell. Disney's Yacht Club Resort. Again, this is a room with one king bed and a pull-out couch. A word of warning or a best best tip, whichever phrase you want to use right off the bat, there are no guaranteed bed types here at Disney's Yacht Club. When you book, you're booking based on the view category and they have standard wood or garden view and they have water view rooms here at Disney's Yacht Club. Now they have several different bed types. They have rooms with two queen beds, they have rooms with king beds, which is what we're in, and then they also have rooms with pull-out sleeper couches as well. So some of the rooms only sleep two people, some of them sleep five. Make sure when you are booking here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort that you call Disney Reservations and you make a note in the system along with your reservation, the bed type that you are looking for, if that's something that matters to you. If there's only two of you and you don't care what type of bed type you have, then it doesn't really matter. But if you care about the bed configuration, make sure you have it added to your reservation because there's no way to guarantee it when you're booking. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the room. I should say as well that no matter what type of bed configuration you have, the majority of the room is gonna be exactly the same. So you're gonna have a fabulous bathroom, which we're gonna see in a minute. You're gonna have a balcony, which we're gonna see in a minute, because we've got a water view room here with a great view of Storm Along Bay Pool, which is the main feature pool here, and of Crescent Lake and across the way to Disney's Boardwalk Villas and Resort as well. You're gonna have a coffee station and you're gonna have a closet. So let's start with the coffee station. So as soon as you walk in the door in the hallway, you're gonna have this coffee station here. This is also really your only food area, so to speak, in the room. These rooms all have Keurig machines. They've given us six of the Keurig pods, three decaf and three regular for our one night stay. They've also given us two teas and all of the required accoutrement, including the little creamers. Now you've got a couple shelves here, so if you bring any snacks with you, granola bars, whatever it is, you've got a place to put those. In this cool nautical trunk here is where you're going to have your mini fridge, which is fabulous. It's got a glass front on it, so you can see if you forgot anything in there, so that is kind of cool. And you're gonna see this countertop, this marble look. I think it's actually a Corian product. Uh, but it's, you're also going to see it in the bathroom, so it's a theme throughout the room. Now, right behind me, I'm going to show you the closet. Right after the coffee bar and right across the way from the bathroom entrance, you're going to have this massive bank of storage. Now, guys, if you are a subscriber to Beth's Best, you know how I feel about storage. And this room has so much storage, it's driving me crazy. This might move to the top of my favorite cash rooms. I don't know. It's just so exciting. There's so much storage in this room. You've got this huge bank of cabinets. You've got two sections with hanging space. And it's one of those fun closets that when you open the door, it lights up for you, which is really, really cool. You've got tons of open shelving here as well, both with doors and also open to the rest of the room. You've got your safe is hidden in here in the corner. You've also got your ironing board and your iron. So you can absolutely unpack because spoiler alert, there's even more storage in the room in the drawers. So like 
so much storage, it's absolutely crazy. You could stay here for a couple of days very happily with multiple people and have plenty of places to put plenty of places to put everything, guys. It's amazing. Let's check out the bathroom. We're in the bathroom now, in case you couldn't tell. And again, the storage in this room is so plentiful. There are hooks everywhere, guys. It's just amazing. I know. Okay, I'll stop geeking out about the storage. I'll try not to bring it up again, but I make absolutely no promises. You've got open shelvings down here. Again, that Corian marble look countertop here that matches over at the coffee bar. Extra ledge here for putting your things. And it's just a really nice kind of vibe. The whole room has a really cool, um, very upscale nautical feel to it. I am from the Northeast. I'm from New England. So this vibe really speaks to me. I'll show you some of the other details in the room. But again, you've got this kind of um, textured paper here, which is also shows up here in the woven texture on the lamp shades. Is that the word? Shades? as well, and you've got your makeup mirror, which is great when you have people getting ready. You've got a whole bunch of sliding or pocket doors here as well. You've got more of a barn style door here that locks off the bathroom. And then between the two areas of the bathroom, so you've got this area with your sinks, then you've got a separate area with another one of these pocket doors with your toilet and your shower. Again, nice tile work in there. Everything is very clean. You have two shower heads, which is fabulous. It's one of those things I like to see at a deluxe resort. When you look at the prices that Disney charges for these rooms, you want them to feel like a deluxe resort, if you know what I'm saying. And this one absolutely does. We don't have a tub. It's just a walk-in shower, but it's really, really nice. And now let me show you the remainder of the room. We are now in the main living area, so to speak, of the room. Now this is where things start to get interesting in the different room layouts here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. We again are in a room with a king size bed and a pull out couch. There are rooms with two queen beds and a pull out couch. There are rooms with two queen beds, no pull out couch, king bed, no couch. They have a whole variety of room categories here. So back to my best, best tip at the beginning, make sure you put in a request for the type of bed configuration that you're looking for. This baby is gonna pull out into a queen size bed, but it's actually really comfortable if you're not using it as a bed even. And we've got more nautical theming here with the artwork behind me. We've got this giant coffee table. These rooms are actually a decent size. They're not as big as what you're going to find at the Polynesian or at the Grand Floridian or at the Contemporary, which if you are looking for room tours at any of those resorts, I will link those above and below because I've done pretty much all of them. Uh, so definitely check that out. But so this is going to be bigger than some of the deluxes like Animal Kingdom Lodge and Wilderness Lodge. Again, room tours linked above and below for your convenience. It's kind of in the middle of the size, but it feels really generous, especially since we're in a room with one king bed. Now this is, as I said, is going to pull out into a queen. Nice floor space here. Now let's check out the entertainment center next. Remember how I said there was more storage in the room? Here it is. I promise. Okay, I make no promises, but I'm hoping this is going to be the last time I mention it on this video. Uh, but again, that Corian countertop, another repeat mention. But we've got nine drawers here, which are really fabulous. And if you do have somebody sleeping on your couch or you need extra pillows or blankets, they're going to be tucked right in here underneath your entertainment center. But otherwise, it's the standard Disney TV. This is like a 55 inch, I believe, which is what they've been putting in all of the deluxes. So, you know, not bad, totally fine, totally serviceable. Let's check out the bed area next. Here comes that bed that we keep talking about on this video. This is gonna be a king size bed. Linen is nice and crisp. We have two nightstands. Disney was listening to me on this one, thank God. They do not match, however, which I think is interesting, but hey, we're just happy it's there, am I right? And let's talk about your devices. This side it doesn't have any USB plugs. Uh, okay, not sure how that worked out. But the other side has a bunch of USB plugs and uh, adapter plugs, so okay. And there are also plugs gonna be underneath the TV as well, so there are plenty of places to charge. You've also got charging stations on the desk area, which, speaking of the desk, let's go there next. Here are those charging stations that I mentioned a moment ago. We've got a desk here, 
I don't know that you're actually going to use it as, as a desk. You're probably going to be eating at it, but okay, it works. And I want to point out that they did, when they redid these rooms a couple years ago, it was like 2017, 2018, I think they redid these rooms, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody will fact correct me down in the comments below. Uh, but we've got plenty of under the bed storage here. They've given those lifted beds so that you can tuck your suitcase right underneath there. Now, one of the things that differentiates the Yacht Club from the Beach Club, interestingly enough, is that of course they're sister resorts, they share a lot of amenities, but the Yacht Club, all of the rooms here at the Yacht Club are going to have a balcony. So we're gonna check out that balcony next. But before we do, I want to again talk about some of the nautical touches in this room that I mentioned earlier in the video. We've got great nautical themed artwork here. We've got um, interesting color patterns of lots of dark blues. We've got kind of topes here. It's a very kind of nice, sophisticated palette. But I gotta tell you, my favorite design detail so far in this room is the drapes. They are the cutest things you will ever see. They are navy blue with all kinds of star constellations on them. They are just absolutely adorable. This is our beautiful balcony and we are again are in a water view room here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort, which means we have a fantastic view of Stormalong Bay, the main feature pool here. And one of the reasons that people love both Yacht Club and Beach Club Resorts so very much. We also have a view over a Crescent Lake and Disney's Boardwalk in and Villas as well across the way. There are friendship boats going by. We are a quick walk to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, which leads me into the great features of this resort. So let's go back inside and I will tell you about the great things that come with staying here at Disney's Yacht Club. There are so many reasons to stay here at Disney's Yacht Club and Disney's Beach Club Resort and Villas. So one of the main reasons that people love these resorts so much is Stormalong Bay Pool. It is basically your own water park. It is a three acre pool complex. It has a lazy river for goodness sakes. I mean, it's absolutely fabulous. They've got like a sand walk-in zero entry pool. It's really, really cool. But if all of those people, because let's face it, when you have a pool that cool, everybody's gonna wanna be at it, right? So if you are not into as many people, they have not one, not two, but three quiet pools here at the Yacht Club and the Beach Club. And if you're staying at one, you can use all of the amenities at the other because they are sister resorts, very similar to what happens if you are at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge at Jamba or Kidani, you can use the amenities at both since they're sister resorts. Pretty cool. Now the location here is also money. You are legit walking distance to Epcot, like the International Gateway, aka the back entrance to Epcot is like right, right there, like right there. It's like a two minute walk, it's so easy. And Hollywood Studios is also walkable as well. It's a bit of a farther walk. It's probably gonna run you about 15 minutes. But if you don't wanna walk, you can just walk back over to that entrance to Epcot and take a Skyliner over Hollywood Studios. And as I said before, the friendship boats are also going between all of the resorts as well. For location, you not only have two parks, you've also got all of the amenities of the other resorts that are right here, right? You've got Disney's Boardwalk Resort and Villas right across the waterway that you can walk to with all kinds of restaurants uh, and dining options, Abracadab Bar if you're looking for a lounge. You've got uh, the Disney Swan and Dolphin properties which are right next door as well and they have a variety of restaurants and amenities for you. So there is just so much to love here about Disney's Yacht Club Resort. Now, if you have thought this video was helpful, I want you to do me a favor and just hit the like button because that really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It tells YouTube that this is a quality video and that you found it helpful. If you have any questions about Disney's Yacht Club Resort or Beach Club, just let me know, type them in the questions below. If you have other video ideas for me, if you have resorts that you're just dying for me to check out, I want you to let me know what those are as well. I'm gonna put links to all of the other uh, similar videos that we have talked about or mentioned in this one for your convenience below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe, we're here way too much. 
hit subscribe, hit the bell. That way you'll know when I drop my next best, best video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.